I'm going to start up here because I happen to be here. But you're looking at an 08 Rockwood. And I'll give you the model number when I go down below. The roof looks good. This trailer does have a couple leaks in the very front. Excuse my bouncing around now. Close your eyes for a minute. Oh. It has two slides. One big one, one little one. One that slides the galley out. And uh, the other one that slides the living room out. It's in good condition. But it does have some delamination. You can see it in this corner here. Now you either leave it just like that. Like that doesn't look too bad at all. Leave it just like that and seal it from the top. Or you take that skin off and fix it underneath. Either way. But there's going to be one thing about this camper. It's going to be a good buy. It will need a battery, it has a battery, and actually the battery holds the charge for a minute. So, may need a battery, may not. What I would suggest, on the way here it did have a, a blowout and they put a new tire on it. I believe it's going to take three more tires. So you can buy them already mounted at Walmart for a reasonable price. Just to be safe if you're going a distance, I would put three tires on it not that big a deal just bring a jack with you and switch them off this is an 8288 SS and I'll give you the exact length uh, in the description so there's there's the other tire it does have the the rim which is a good looking rim so there is no way for us to take the tires off here um, now there is a tire place right down the street possible they could mount them just drive it down there with three tires and and I'm sure they could mount them for you but that is something I'm not going to get involved in it's uh you know this is I should have started by saying this is a repossession it comes with a clear title though no bad car packs no bad history at all the inside is nice and clean and hardly used no smells or odors definitely not a smoker or a uh, pet vehicle. It's not perfect. It needs a good cleanup. That is in the back where we saw the little delamination there. Neat thing is it's got a fireplace, sound system. It does have a TV. You probably want to get another TV though. It is a flat screen. Good looking sink and cabinetry. I like to see a stove hardly used. That means the ceiling's nice and white, and it is. Microwave. A Dometic RV fridge runs off of um, AC or gas. It's nice and clean. The living area has a bigger mattress. Now here is the spot that has. Uh, the puncture. Let's see there. So that will need to be repaired. It's not wet, and it rained really hard last night. But um, that will need to be repaired. And it looks like there was a small leak there. Now this is a camper you could use just like it is for a season until you get to it and fix those couple things. Again, what you're going to get because of those couple things is a very cheap price. It has been fully winterized. I'm 6'3". I can stand up in the shower. Really, I'm sure what happened is this was sitting in storage, hardly used, and uh, you know, it developed a leak. And people owed so much on it, they just let it get repoed. And this was probably a $35,000 trailer and probably the people still owed oh, 20 or 25,000 on it but anyway look at what others are advertising these campers for dealers and all you know every bit of 15 18,000 20,000 
it's a big fifth wheel for what it is. It's got a lot of room. It's comfortable. Sit back on the chair and watch a little TV with your fireplace going. So, when you come to pick it up, you'll get a clean title, bill of sale, and a 60-day temporary tag to drive it home on. And even use on the way home or use when you want to before you title it. It will be sold to the high bidder, so please do not bid unless you're able to finish the transaction. You'll need $250 deposit at the end of the auction, and the balance is due within seven days. Now you have about 30 days to pick it up, but the balance of the payment is due within seven days. If you're thinking about shipping, look at the website uship.com. It's the letter U and SHIP.com. That site is owned by eBay. You'll get your best buy there on shipping. Usually somewhere around a dollar a mile. Now I am a Delaware dealer, so this paperwork will have to be done before it's picked up. Now you don't have to pay until you see it, obviously. But um, it is located in Edgewood, Maryland. So you buy it, and we'll send you the paperwork over, and then uh, and then finish up the transaction. Something you don't like about it, something I didn't describe, you don't have to pay for it. You're you're uh, guaranteed by eBay. And me on that. You can see by my feedback. Uh, the zip code is two one zero four zero. If you're looking to get a shipping quote, it will have to be picked up Monday through Friday, more most likely on Thursday or Friday between 9 and 5. It's in a holding pen, very safe area uh, for uh, repossessed RVs. So anyway, buy this Rockwood RV, fix a couple things, you'll have a very expensive camper at a cheap price. It's nice and clean on the inside, it does need those couple things fixed. Definitely no odors of mold, pet, smoke, or anything like that. That's it.